The Book of Blood, Chapter 2, The Purdy. Ambitious Ace. Damn, did he? Yeah, man. Got a crazy episode this here. This is what the f- I'm talking about <laughs> right here, man. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Um, I was tuned in from the beginning. Yes, sir. I, w- I was kind of mad when every time the commercials came because, you know, I watched it live. Yes, sir. <laughs> you watched it live. Yeah. <laughs> I started halfway into the episode. Yeah. That way, by the time I get to the end, I only go go through one. Commercial. I was mad after the commercial. I'm like, come on, come back! All these commercials. But yeah, man. So let's start right off the bat from the beginning of the episode. Gamby is alive. Spoiler. <laughs> Duh. Of course he's alive. Yeah, of course Gamby's alive, man. How did you that. feel about that quick maneuver he made, though? That was quick. And I was just like, man, come on. Man. Gamby is that guy. <laughs> Come on, man. You just rolled out, tuck, tuck and rolled, watch from the woods. Yeah. Bam. I was, just like, I was just like, well, first of all, there's one problem. What's that? We saw the car flip and blow up like immediately. <laughs> yeah. There was no time. Come on. They didn't see nobody roll out. It was editing. That was editing. Nobody would have saw a body flipping nah. out. Would have thought it was a raccoon. It was too focused on the vehicle to see him come out like no, that. I'm talking about the people in the car. All the people. <laughs> They didn't see that? They didn't see a body? Get no, ejected? man, because he's Gamby. That's why. It's Gamby. But, yeah. So, we know. He's cloaked. Gamby out there, you know, now working behind the scenes, as I predicted. I just didn't know he was going to be tying people up and cutting fingers off in front of their dogs and everything like that. But, My all right. had a good point. Was that? That guy was pretty damn calm for two fingers to be cut off. Sitting yo, he table. was extremely calm. <laughs> He was like, you just go do this for my family? I'm like, yo, dogs? <laughs> right, that was pretty funny, though. You yeah. can't lie. That was pretty funny. Sorry, girls. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty dope reveal. We already expected it. But, you know, it's in true Gamby fashion, we all know he has something to do. I thought it was interesting that he still, you know, is keeping tabs on Anissa, so to speak. But she we'll get to that. On. Turn the track on. So we'll get to that. But um, I guess what we can get into next is just Anissa. I wasn't expecting her to go to by herself. I, I didn't really like that. Just saying her choice, because that's a dangerous move to go somewhere by yourself. It so, is. But, but I appreciated what, you know, everything that followed. But yeah, how did you feel about Anissa and uh, her journey to the Purdy? I liked it. Yeah. I liked her going solo, turning the tracker on, which was a smart move. Yes. She, she, she played it smart. She wasn't on no dumb crowd. Like, hey, if I'm going to go. We'll yeah, track you're right, you're right, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like that. When uh, the Purdy surrounded her, I was just like, yo, man, what the hell is going on here, yeah, man? It, it kind of, the tension kind of rolls this episode a lot. Yeah. And it hasn't been there for a minute. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what this episode did well. Yeah, and then, you know, when they when we meet, uh, what's her name's dad? I can't even remember her name. Anaya. Yeah. We met Anaya's dad, who was uh, deaf. That was really interesting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like the whole dynamic of him, yeah. you know talking back and forth and uh i was intrigued right away and when uh you know anaya told the story of the purdy i mean i know that's a little bit more for yeah, yeah. the episode yeah, but yeah, when yeah. she told the story of the purdy and the sanjay i was just like yo that's a dope ass concept yeah and that's why i hope this lasts in cohesion throughout the season yeah in conjunction with what's going if, on if with, any of you name. guys know the the season structure because i i tried looking up like the season structure of this uh this season of black lightning is it gonna be four episodes per book i'm hoping that they have three books because i like this angle that yeah. they're going with right now yeah because looker seems like an extremely interesting character yeah so i want them to i don't want this to end what so this was five this is episode six this is six so it'll yeah. be seven and then eight so it'll be two more yeah i don't know if i'd like it to close that angle in two episodes gotcha so how do you feel about um the whole di- the whole uh transaction between the mother and father when they found out that she was having a baby like when when they no, that when whole the kid was white Not, but well before that but just the reactions and everything like i mean they knew that she was having a baby yeah but Okay, then the reaction of the twins. Then, I mean, how'd you I, feel about I, that? I mean, that was just fucked up. Yeah, I was just like, come on, man. Like yeah, that's yeah. Like a kid. That was like, extreme. I was just like, man, they mad racist. Yeah, like that, that's kind of bad. Like, yeah, that's that's old school mm-hmm. right there. And, and like, this had they to just make them like, turn away when the, when the white baby popped out. And she had to get them like, you know, that's still your child. Like either way, that's your still your grandkids. So I thought even that was if crazy. both even if both parents were super 
like super black like cold they can still have a white kid that and can I happen f- an old life. dude i guess who was supposed to be her boyfriend or i don't know was that her boyfriend before and then she i don't know because he was he was seemed like he was upset like it was supposed to be in like a arranged relationship or something like that because he was like she went off with that dude before me or something yeah, like that that that's that yeah the vibe i get was that and i don't feel like this was explained at all it wasn't but just just stick with me. I know it sounds crazy, but it, it it almost sounds like they're going with the idea that maybe she got pregnant by both dudes. What you mean? Because like he's the father of one baby and then the other kid's the father of the other baby. Nah, I ain't gonna no. You sure that's not what nah. they're trying to hint at? Because that's the vibe I get. I got with the vibe that he killed Deacon because yeah, he, he knew did. that he got pregnant by a deacon. That's the vibe I went because she was always with him probably. She probably got caught with him all the time. Or she was dating both of them at the same time. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's one thing that needs to be cleared up. Hopefully, it gets cleared up. But that's I don't know because everybody might be gone. Nah, nah. I highly we'll doubt. I highly doubt everybody. But um, there. what else happened? Oh yeah, so uh, Khalil's development in this episode. Him and Tobias. I love that fight scene, by the way. Yo, Tobias be killing me with these jokes, man. When the con- congressman came back, that's why you don't hire black folk. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, Tobias. Well, hold on. We're going a little bit too far. So let's go back. No, nah, to- no, I got to say this real quick. What? Tobias is racist as hell, man. <laughs> Tobias do not mess with black people at all. Like, nah, <laughs> man. He got, he got, black he- people stay letting Tobias down. <laughs> yeah, where has black people been in Tobias' life? He's like, man, this is a white face I own. I'm like, God, yo, Tobias, you were, yeah. What? Who are you? Yeah. You got like 20 books about war on your desk. He don't got no. You know what I noticed? He don't got nobody else. So it's like Sinai was his. But it's just like you ain't got nobody else. His sister's gone. He killed his his uh the guy that kind of. It's like Khalil his... trying to be there for you too. But what I wanted to get to is uh exchange between um, the congressman and the preacher. How did you feel about that exchange between them? Because I, I, I didn't think the preacher was going to be like, uh, preach pinky, was going to be that adamant about, you know, I his did. stance. I, I, I didn't know I just, what to expect. I just thought Tobias was going to come see him himself. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to send Khalil to do it. No, he didn't send Khalil. Well, I'm talking about before when he tried to get the congressman to get on his side because he was like, oh, you work for Tobias. I and, mean, I expected yeah. that to happen. Okay. I just I thought it was a little bit surprising because I still ain't had his angle yet. But from there, I, I kind of get it now. But yeah, but then to Khalil and the preacher, I kind of felt that coming, even with the whole exchanges between Khalil and uh, Jennifer and everything like that. How'd you feel about them two this episode? I liked it. I mean, uh, it's kind of warming up on you a little I'm, bit more. I Like I said to her. I'm at the point where I'm tired of Jennifer being the most mature person. And I was going to get to scenario. that too because with in Lynn, every scenario, because with Lynn, Lynn she, yeah, she's giving, yeah, she's telling Khalil the real shit. She's telling her dad the real shit. She's telling Anissa the real. She's telling uh 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 everybody. She's all. She's the one that's the youngest. Why? She Maybe this, this is knowledge. part of her putting the emotions and everything, her emotions in check. You know, in her box. You know, maybe this is her trying to be the calm and collected person. Because she know. can't be emotional, so she's trying to be the calm and collected individual and everything like that. I don't know. Let us I, know what y'all I think. I mean, but what I will say, though, is I really like what they're doing with her. Yeah. I, I can say that for sure. Yeah. They're killing, you know, Jennifer right now, but I'm just, she can't be the smartest person in every I don't scenario. think it's her being the smartest. I think she's just like... They got to give her something to do. She's locked in the house. She can't really go nowhere. True. So she's just got that moral standing point for everybody right now where everybody's trying to deal with they dealing with. But where that doesn't work is we still ain't got no development on her. And um, what's her name? I want to say Maxine Gray. <laughs> but uh, Maxine, Shaw. <laughs> Maxine Shaw. But I can't really. Uh, we ain't got no development on that. So hopefully it ties back into that and everything. But other than that, I do like the relationship between Khalil and Jennifer because I think it's giving Khalil some kind of moral ground that he needs to right now. But now he ain't got his ass beat by Tobias. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I hope he gets back up. But that was a brutal ass whooping. Yeah, y'all yeah, see, I changed it mad. Right? <laughs> Shit happened. Yeah, he, man, he really, he really got dug into, man. Like, yeah. Cause... Like, I mean, I just thought it was hilarious that soon as he told him he ain't do it, 
Tobias took his watch off. Bruh, he was just getting now, ready. Now, hold on. He bookmarked the page on his book first. I did not notice that. <laughs> so he needed to get back to his war book. Yeah. He took his watch off, took his ring off. He's explaining to him this concept yeah. about why he's about to whoop his ass. Right, and right. Just like, and it's just funny because it's just like. But it made me feel bad for Khalil, even though I'm mad at Khalil because, you know, he he made these why, why decisions. Why are you using his, his darts? That's a, well, he, he didn't have no, he didn't have him equipped. I know he yeah, didn't, but he's supposed to use them, man. Like, nah, uh, man, he's trying to get away from that life. It's but. too late for me. <laughs> so, uh, now, how did, why Jennifer ain't say something to her dad yet? We're gonna get to that in a moment. But how did you feel about Lynn this episode? Because she ha- also had a couple scenes where she's dealing with telling the family uh, members about the um, the accident. I want to yeah. say. Well, look, the first thing I want to say. Is when homeboy hit her from the back of yo. the car. I was just like, "Yo, you need to pull your gun out and, and pop, pop, pop." You don't, you, you don't just hit me in the back of my whip bro. and I keep on going. You go get talked to. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I just don't saying. care how depressed I am. I'm about to get about of this car. Yeah, we got some serious issues. I'm <laughs> flat throwing no picture. I like told that you means I didn't know. you followed me. Yeah, from since we left. Yeah, so that's already violation number one. <laughs> don't be doing all that. But yeah, I, I thought. I thought it was a little bit much, but I can understand her emotional grief. You know, I know she wanted to save every life and didn't want to have hey, to do she that. Just listen to, she should just listen to Jennifer. That's what I'm saying. But Jennifer had a good point. You were responsible, so you really can't be all sad. She was responsible. Why would you believe Jace? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, a lot of people say in the comments, you should have known not to chase, you know, Jace. She was lying. You knew Dr. Jace was yeah. lying. As soon as you looked at her, it's just like, I don't trust her. Yeah, but she wanted to. Yeah, she wanted to. She wanted to, you know, form some type of. I want to know how the whole, uh, the whole uh, staff of the place feels about it. Like that's one thing. Is Lynn just the head of this whole operation? I believe so. It's like, does anybody else other than Bill Duke's character have any input on this? So I want to know. No clue. It's a lot of workers there. Yeah. Ain't nobody coming up with no ideas that we see. Yeah. At least, but I mean, Lynn's journey. I mean, uh. A lot of her feelings, like when she was talking low and everything at the meeting, that was all believable. Yeah. But I wasn't necessarily believing the drinking and the crying, and I wasn't falling. Yeah, like, especially when she kind of shaded Jennifer when she came in. I'm like, yeah. come on now. That, that, to me, that was kind of just as bad acting as, as uh, you know, Cress when he, he had found out that Gamby died. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jefferson, and he, he that scene wasn't believable. Yeah, I get sad. you. So she had one of those moments again. It it still it, I mean I had one of those moments on this episode, but yeah. then again, some of the stuff was extremely believable, like her feeling down. It was just the drinking and stuff. What it just wasn't believable. Uh, I, I but I, I like Lynn. I will say yeah. that I, I like her a lot. I, I I know it's been a journey. We're liking this character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, I don't know. Ho- hopefully, she gets back to it. And uh, something's some way we got to get uh, closure on this Jace, Dr. Jace and yeah. situation because I know it's not over with, especially with Dr. Jace basically admitting that she want, want love to find some kids and a whole family to poke around. Yeah, with. she's going to keep pressing on that. So back to Anissa and, uh, you know, the, leading the whole charge, you know, leading everybody out. What you think about that whole scene? Because I thought it was pretty dope. Oh, where oh, with Black Lightning showed up. Yeah, when up he like showed up, second. I love the music choice as well. I swear, Black Lightning has the best music, yo. I ain't gonna say the best. I but th- it's got some cool. It's got I some like. Cool okay, I won't say the best music, but I just say the choices of music because it, it's a feel out of place, but it works so at the same time. You ain't about to tell me that Black Lightning's music is better than like Luke Cage. Because, like, Luke Cage with that. Yeah, Herman Luke Cage has some good Fist music. Episode where they had the Wu Tang yeah, music for that episode. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. But I do like their old school selections because no, no, yeah, yeah. it's always like they find the old school music to mesh with this and it just works out great. But I loved um, one thing. Why, why did uh, Nissa put on her little mask when everybody already seen her? I have no That clue. was a little inconsistent. That, that, was, that was one of those things uh, that, that kind of had me like, come on, man. And then Gammy with the the drone. Yeah, that was fire though. I was just like, I was like, come on, ain't, ain't Jefferson ain't gonna see that damn drone <laughs> shooting nobody. You know what I'm saying? You got these. Powers it was a lot that going you can on. See electricity. It was a and lot going on, man. Let's not forget let Gam- let Gammy let Gammy be a boss. All right, let Gammy yeah, be Gam- a boss. Gammy and held up in some motel six <laughs> with a drone controller. <laughs> 
taking everything from his cell phone. I need his phone. Yeah. He, he got some high but tech I, stuff. Up I there. thought it was a dope scene though because then this was working. Yeah. She was getting down. Like when those dudes came on the back of the pickup truck and she was just going in, everything, I was just like, yo, she working. But I like the whole scene. Um, I'm still not fully grasping the, what's her name? The looker's abilities. Is it just stuff I mean, to control? I mean, Anissa kind of explained it like, she can basically see, I guess, what everybody else is seeing, mm-hmm. but she get it gives them enhanced like speed uh, and I guess a couple other senses maybe. Mm. But that's just what it seems like. It, it almost like a hive mind because once she takes okay, the silver makes, away yeah. from them, it looks like it kills them. Yeah, because she like they said that she felt like she cured all of them, but they felt like she. Do you think she can worse. affect the babies? Because it seemed like the baby blocked it. I don't feel like the baby blocked it. I just feel like she didn't want to kill it. Because mm. I, I didn't know if she did it Because she kind of walked off screen Because she tried it at first And then she was like no And then she walked off screen Like she tried to do it again But we didn't see if she did it or not Nah that was when she felt That there was another baby Oh Because she was Cause, like cause she took it out There's a white she, one she saw what, Yeah she saw what She saw what the baby had seen Yeah so Okay she, They had looked at each other And their yeah. eyes flashed So they right. saw each other So that's probably what she was seeing okay. The fact that there was another baby But I really like like her look is kind of intimidating and scary yeah. and it's just like she seems like an intimidating character yeah. like just the way she speaks and she has an intimidating present presence yeah. so I actually want to see more of her character that's why I was saying like they can't end this arc in two more episodes because le- they can like, end it in a, such a way where it furthers the development like they can end this certain plot but they can still focus on that central character yeah, they can. So, I, I feel like this episode was the most unusual but amazing episode yet because I kind of feel like this show has been kind of grounded even though it's been a superhero show, but it's still been grounded in reality. So, to get a little bit of weirdness <laughs> into the show was a real welcome addition and I love the way that they handled it yeah. because, like you said, they created a, a cool story with the uh, Sanjay and the Purdy and just create another dynamic to the show that I think has been needed for this season. Cause I think, I, I think I said a couple of reviews ago, like I wondered what the main villain or like sub villains was going to be this season. And if it's going to be stories like this, I will enjoy that. Yeah. Cause it, it's not like, you know, the meta of the week kind of story. Mm-hmm. It looked like it's branching, like you said, into a whole different book and everything like that. So if they handle um, different metas this way, I would love it. I'm extremely excited where the rest of the season goes. If they can keep this up, like like you said, it's weird, but it's not weird enough to run you away. Yeah. If they can keep building on this, I think this is like one of the best episodes we've had this season. It was really good, really interesting. Yeah. Uh, had me kind of at the edge of my seat the whole time. Like you said, every Facts. time it went to a commercial, I was just like, yo, <laughs> hurry up and come back because yeah. y'all ain't going to leave it like that. That's kind of messed up. Even when the episode ended, I was just like, come on, that's the end? Come yeah. on, man. Don't yeah. end it like that. Right. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season. Predictions. I have no clue, man. I just hope the looker doesn't end up being killed. Uh, I'm assuming Jennifer is going to be looking to tell her dad something, but she can't find him right now because he's helping the purdy. Question, will she tell Khalil something? I will she, she try will. to sympathize with him? I think she'll, I think she will, like, I thought she was going to do it on this episode. I thought she was going to be like, look, and show her, her, show him her power right, uh-huh. and be like, you know, I, you know, I can help you or my mom can help you or yeah. she's going to do something. I don't think she's going to tell her, him, her, her, her whole family has powers or anything yeah because that but i mean once she sees the lightning is he gonna put two and two together like oh i don't think so you don't I think mean, so I, I don't know but I, I do find it interesting the fact that khalil knows now that the reason why he's he was paralyzed yeah is that because of tobias that was a good development i yeah. didn't see that one coming and i i thought it was kind of striking because this is like yo are they setting up tobias to just be by himself Cause I mean, nah, you know, I don't know. So that's like thing. somebody in the comments said, like those fourteen kids, some are probably gonna go good, some are gonna go bad, and I can mm. see that happening for sure. Mm, so it can probably lead to another situation where he's trying to get somebody else to be the next Khalil. Yeah, and hopefully be they need somebody he can and be they e- and be they evil stepdaddy. Somebody to follow directions. <laughs> well, yeah, I think we covered everything. Yeah, yeah. So let us know what you guys thought about this episode. We enjoyed it. 
think the show is heading in a great direction. So hopefully it keeps up with this. I'm just going to be mad because I think in two weeks we'll be going to a break. Yeah, but we wanted a longer season, so I'm fine with it. But, you know, let us know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments. Let us know your predictions. Don't tell us about any previews or anything because I didn't see it. So let us know. Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.